Hey, Scott Sambucci here. I'm uh, standing here in my office on a Friday afternoon and I want to use something that's sitting right here in front of me as an opportunity maybe to share a lesson, not just with the person that I'm working with, but uh, for a lot of you that are out there, startup founders and leading your teams. Uh, one of the things we do here with our coaching programs is every Friday we do a, a weekly recap. So you know, what are your wins? What have you learned? Um, what's a big project for next week? You know, anything, just sort of let us know how the week went for you. And a lot of times it's celebrating big wins and big progress. Sometimes it's, uh, it's hard because we set out for that given week or that month, or for a lot of you, uh, you've set out for, you know, years of accomplishment that you want to have ahead and things don't always turn out the way that you want them to turn out. And in this particular case, I'm, I'm just working with a founder who just had kind of a rough week. It's been a really, really rough week. And, um, the, the, the sort of the lesson or sort of the, the upside to some of this um, is something that I'm going to share with her and I want to share it with you is that um, it's something I learned from from doing a lot of trail running and, and ultra marathons. So some of you might know I do long distance endurance events, um, 100 mile, I've done 200 mile runs, races. And one of the lessons that I've learned out there on the trail and believe me, a lot of that, there's a lot of analogies of running 100 miles in a stretch and running a company because it's a, it's a long journey with lots of peaks and valleys. Um, one of the lessons that I've learned being out there on the trail is that things are going to go wrong. It's inevitable. If you're out there for 100 miles or you're running a company, things are going to go wrong. You're going to have bad weeks. You're going to have good weeks. You're going to have weeks in between. And the, there's kind of a three-step process that I've learned out on the trail that I think is really important to think about for yourself as you're running your company, as you're leading your teams. And I think this is something that you can translate into uh, a learning that your, your team can also apply whenever they're having a rough week or a rough day. And the, the three-step process is acknowledge, accept, action. So what we mean by acknowledge, accept, action is number one, uh, when you see that things are not going well, acknowledge it. You know, demos aren't converting the way you want. Deals aren't converting to paying customers. You're not, you know, people are telling you your, your product is too expensive. People tell you your product doesn't work right. Uh, maybe it doesn't work right. I think one of the, uh, the biggest dangers for all of us is to sort of gloss over and say, oh, well, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Next time we'll be better. We'll just get more leads. We'll just do more demos. The very first thing you can do when things are going wrong is just to acknowledge that they're going wrong. Like see it for what it is. Uh, happens all the time in the trail. Like you're getting low on water, get off course, weather's a little colder, a little hotter than you expect it, course is a little more difficult than you expect it. Um, just acknowledge this is the situation, right? Number two, accept. So once you acknowledge that something is the way it is, then the second step is just accept the situation for what it is. Uh, a lot of times there's, there's, a, there's a couple of different ways you can you can use this acceptance, which is, you know, I accept that things are screwed up right now. What is one thing I can learn from this? What's good about this problem? What's the learning here? Being at peace with the fact that things are screwed up is a huge step forward with being able to take the action that you need to take, which is the third step, which is saying to yourself, okay, things are screwed up. I get it. I totally accept that they're screwed up. So what is something, however big or small, I can do right now to start improving my situation? Maybe I need to just go back and look at how we're doing lead qualification. Maybe I need to think about, like, is it really our price or is that we're not doing a good job of talking about the problem that our customers have and getting really clear on ROI? Is it sitting down? Like Maybe the first step in a lot of cases is just booking a meeting with people on your team, sitting them down, saying, okay guys, things are not going well. These are some things we need to change. So this idea of, of acknowledge, accept, action is a way for you to pull yourself out of these doldrums in a way that is somewhat a lot more objective than just sort of pushing and pushing and pushing. Because if you continue to push forward and you continue to do the things that are not working or just hoping that things will get better, chances are they won't. The only way they're going to get better is for you to take action. And the only way to do that, to take that action, is to be really clear about the problem is, 
what the problem is and then be accepting of that problem so that you can take the action that you want to take. So in this case, you know, one of our clients just had a rough week. I know it's going to get better. Uh, last week was a good week for her. I'm sure next week, if not the week after, is going to be better. Um, but in the meantime, you know, whenever you're stuck and whenever you're feeling like you hit that wall or you hit that steep slope on your trail, on your journey, as you're building your, as you're building your startup, as you're building your teams, just remember this acknowledge, accept action, because I think it will help you uh, remove yourself from the situation in a good way, look at it objectively and be able to uh, do the things you need to do to move yourself and your team forward, okay? So, um, so that's it from a Friday afternoon. Hope that's helpful for someone out there. Um, if you can think of one person out there that needs to hear this message, you know, maybe there's a, a founder, a co-founder of yours, maybe you're a VP of sales, and you know somebody else at another startup that just needs to hear this message. I would, I would, I want to get this. This I want to help at least one person with this video. So if you can just share with that one person that you can think of that really needs this message, I would, I would really appreciate it because it's really important to me to help as many founders and startup teams as as we can here at Sales Qualia. Okay, so that's it for now. Have an awesome weekend. Talk to you soon.